welcome back to Lakeside Farm. This is part two of our video of how to deal with worms. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing for those that have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and keep, keep encouraging us to give you more of this information as we learn by doing. Because here at Lakeside Farm, we believe in learning by doing. We are learning as we are keeping goats. Every day we learn something new. Worms. How do we deal with getting rid of worms among our animals? Here at Lakeside Farm, there are things that we have chosen to do different. Like I told you, not because something works for another farmer that it should work for you. No, you have to be always on the lookout, find out research, do things differently and find out something that can work for you. I told you one of the ways that goats lose their pregnancy is through pregnancy reabsorption. Where your goats get pregnant, you see that they have been bred and because you've given them deworming medicines or any other medicine, they lose the pregnancy. So we want to share how for us we have now been able to avoid that because it used to happen to us. Number one is we stopped group deworming. We do not do general deworming of goats. Yes, we are always trying to do natural synchronization, but things happen during that process that will take you off your normal planned pregnancies and you get back to the normal way of doing things somehow for some goats. So, for example, we had all our goats conceive at the same time, but during the process, some goats miscarried because of pregnancy reabsorption. We gave them deworming tablets some goats lost their pregnancies, the others continued through the full term and gave birth while these ones now went back to the cycle and just got pregnant and now they have to wait until give birth. Now that takes you off natural synchronization and you have to sometimes try to go back before you actually do natural synchronization again. So that's why group deworming does not work. Now we have gone off group deworming. When we are deworming goats, we have to make sure we deworm goats that are either above two months pregnant or haven't conceived yet or they are even beyond the two months months of pregnancy and even those goats that are about to give birth we do not deworm them goats that are remaining with maybe a week or two or uh, three weeks we do not deworm those goats we leave them to carry through their pregnancy and at the end when they have given birth we deworm them. So we stopped doing group deworming. That's how we are able to monitor our deworming system. A lot of people complain that there are so many kinds of medications that don't actually do deworm their goats. You give the goats these dewormers, but the worms don't seem to die. And that is a problem that so many people are facing. What I've discovered is actually most of the medicines on the market work I have said most, not all, but most. But it's because we abuse these medicines, they stop working for us. How? Most of the people will underdose their goats. That's why it is important that as you start to deworm your goats, in the very beginning, have a vet to come and advise you um, on the amounts of drugs that you should be giving to your goats. Or if you're not going to consult a vet, have a measuring tape, measure your goat, see how much it, it weighs, and then compare with the directions on the bottle of the medication and see how many meals you should be giving to a particular goat. But most people just look at a goat and say, ah, this one is uh, 10 kilograms, I should give it three meals. Worms are not going to die because you are underdosing. And then other people get issues of overdose. Overdose usually will make your goats miscarry because this medication, when it gets inside, it's trying to get rid of all foreign bodies inside the goat. And when it finds a baby in there, a baby also will seem like a foreign body. And because you have overdosed, the baby will also come out. So how you avoid that is consult a veterinarian. If you consult a veterinarian, they will tell you what to do. And then after that, you can start deworming your goats by yourself because you know what to do. But it is not a case that all the medication on the market doesn't work. No, the medication works, but the challenge is that 
you are underdosing or overdosing. Those are some of the things that you have to be so careful about. Don't overdose, don't underdose. Otherwise, you will start accusing the medication that it's bad, yet it's you who is not doing the right thing that you are supposed to do. Another issue is that goats get different kind of worms. They are lung worms, they are intestinal worms, they are flukes, all those are types of worms. And one medication that gets rid of lung worm may not actually get rid of uh, intestinal worms or may not get rid of liver flukes. So what you have to do is when you go to buy medication, don't just buy some generalized medicine that because this works on worms, it will get rid of everything. No, ask a veterinarian what gets rid of lung worms, what gets rid of intestinal worms, what gets rid of liver flukes. And even then, you have to make sure you consult a veterinarian to come to your farm and see what kind of worms are these goats suffering from. If they are flukes, they will advise you on what medication to get. If they are lung worms, you'll have to know what kind of medication works for that. But you just going and buying medication and coming to medicate your goats is a wrong way of go is a wrong way of doing things and you may actually end up endangering your animals because you are doing things unprofessionally. Always consult a professional, always try to know what is good for your goats. So don't just think that all medication works for any kind of worm. There are specific meds that work on specific worms. Those are some of the things you have to know. Yes, periodic deworming works, but like I've told you, don't deworm the entire group at once. You have to know which group needs to be dewormed. For example, we usually have kids here. For kids, their deworming is a little bit more regular than the normal deworming for the adults. For kids, we deworm them every after two weeks. We make sure we deworm them every after two weeks. That's us here. I don't know about others, what they do, but for us here, we've learned from different people, like um, Boji, we've learned from uh, Missy, we've learned from Roy, several people. But for us, we've decided to go with that schedule. We deworm the kids every after two weeks. Now, for the adults, we deworm them every after two and a half months. Yes, most people say three months, but for us, we decided to do it every after two and a half months. So we get rid of all the worms that are affecting our goats. Why we've decided to do that, we have a swamp here. And when goats go to the swamp, we have realized that usually when they feed from that place, they get worms constantly. So we are changing our way of deworming them. We deworm periodically, but every after two and a half months. But still, we don't do it in groups. Like I've told you, kids are dewormed more regularly. These adults are dewormed according to their needs. Those mothers that have just conceived are not dewormed until they've gone beyond one month of pregnancy. And then there are those that are about to give birth. We don't deworm them until they have given birth because this medication can cause a lot of other side effects. We know it's medicine, yes, it works for worms, but as you know, medicine comes with its own challenges, which is normal for all things that we do in life. Everything that you do has its own challenges. So when you are deworming goats, you always have to ensure that you follow the right procedure and monitor your animals, keep records. When did I last deworm? When am I supposed to deworm again? Which animals are pregnant? Can I deworm them or can I wait? Which babies uh, need deworming or which ones don't need deworming? And of course, the regular deworming of the babies keeps on changing. The ones that have just been born, we do not deworm them until they are at least three weeks. At three weeks, we start deworming them every after two weeks. After that, when they get to three months, then we start deworming them at every after one month. After that, when now they've moved into the adult stage, we start deworming them every after two and a half months. That's what we do here. I don't know what to do. I don't know what works for you. That's why I told you in farming, there is no one size fits all. 
you have to know your challenges as a farmer and go according to the challenges that you are facing. Find solutions according to the challenges that you as a person are facing. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel to encourage us to keep giving you more and more information. Until next time, see you then.